What's up, YouTube? Fallen Psycho 2 here, coming at you with the deck profile for the first time in a really long time on Black Wings. <laughs> yes, so I am not playing this deck because I think it'll be good with Gale at 2. No, this deck still sucks ass. Um, the reason I'm playing it is because I was dicking around at locals, threw this deck together in 5 minutes before the tournament started, and got first. Yeah, so let's get to the deck profile. Um, three Shura. This card's basically the heart and soul of the deck. You summon this with Whirlwind, you win. Well, not win, but it's good. Um, searches, get generate advantage, just kind of sit on it, have a wall. And overall, it's just pretty good. Um, three Four of the Spear. This is another card that you just like, you want to get it early. Just kind of get it, summon, make exceeds, sit on it, search. It's also good, like, late game, you can summon this and pierce for game. So, th these two are both really good. You'll use these guys to make a lot of exceeds monsters. And then, three clutes. Uh, this is basically, like, the nine card heart of the deck. Use Kalut with these guys, kill stuff, make exceeds and generically play. Those are your three ofs. Um, two, Gale. It is at two, which is nice for the deck. I wouldn't say it breaks the deck or makes it too good. Gale could be at three and the deck would still suck. Um, but two, Gale helps. You just can summon it. There was one play today where my opponent had, like, one monster out. I used Blizzard, bring him back, have its attack, bounce it back with Zephyros, summon it again, have its attack again, just swing. So that was good. Gale's a really good card. It's a good as a combo piece, and it's a good standalone card. So it is a good card. It does not make the deck good, though. Uh, two Blizzard. The only good... Well, no, this is your comeback card. You can draw this card late game, especially if you have a live Zephyrus Grave, and you'll just, you can just win. Like, um, if you have a live Zephyrus and a Boring Grave... You could make Leo. I forgot to put Leo in my extra deck today, so I didn't play it, but it's good. Um, two Sirocco, uh, helps with Whirlwind, boost up your monsters, just more summons. This deck plays a lot of summons, which in a way is bad. In a way, it's good, because this deck, the point of Black Wings is maintain board presence, because basically all of your good cards stem and are good from having board presence. Like, Kalut, for example, is good because of board presence. Uh, Shura, generate board presence. Gale, summon itself to generate board presence. Uh, Bora, generate board presence. Most Blackwing cards are just to generate board presence. Sirocco's really good because it's another normal summon, and it pumps all your board presence into one single monster, which is useful. It's also a level 5, so it can sync with Gale to make 8s, and 8s are good. Um, one Zephyros, any more than that would be dumb. You only need one, you'll only ever summon one. And yeah. It's a really nice combo piece, just to be able to, like, bounce Bora, bounce anything really, reuse a card, bounce a Floodgate back, um, like, Skill Drainer Vanities... Bounce it back, summon it, helps manipulate the graveyard for Dark Armed, and just overall for a really good card. Uh, speaking of which, Dark Armed brought him out once, drew him once. Really good card, fairly easy to set up for. Blizzard gives you a lot of graveyard manipulation, so is Zephyros, and so is Kalud, actually. So this deck has a fair amount of graveyard manipulation, so you can just basically draw Dark Armed if you draw him. Unless you top deck him really late game, then he's really bad, unless you play Vayu, and Vayu's really bad, so you don't want to do that in the first place. So yeah, Dark Armed's good if you draw him early. If you top deck him late game, you have to hope to get lucky. I don't know if I'll cut him in the future, but he's really funny when you do draw him. And that's the monsters. I played a lot of monsters. As I said, this deck is all board presence. And for that reason, I played 18 monsters. Let's do a quick count. You have your 3-3 three, three ofs, uh, 15, 17 monsters. Wow. Okay. And all of them are normal summons. 
Anyways, on to spells. Why normal summons are good? Um, because they are a plus one with this card out. Yeah, it's basically it. There was one game where I opened all three of these plus a sure, and I'm just like, <laughs> you just lost. Yeah, this card's good. Um, if you don't get it, that's unfortunate. You can play without it, but it's really good in this deck. Um, three duality. Get monsters faster. Get whirlwind faster. Get everything faster. Um, this deck does not need to special summon. It helps if you can, but duality definitely does not hurt. Um, then one allure, just for draw power. And one card for black feathers, more draw power. Just eight spells, pretty much all of them are just get cards faster. I feel like spells are really suboptimal at this point in the game, but these ones are useful. Now, traps. Um, three Icarus attack. Uh, Blackwing's best weapon that they have going for them is this card. Just the fact that you can tribute any Blackwing monster and just wipe out two cards your opponent has. Instant interference with any play they're trying to make. Um, three skill drain. This deck does not need to activate effects to win. You can sit on stuff with colutes in hand and win from there uh so skill and skill train just wrecks everything in its path so i definitely think this is a good card if you absolutely need to activate an effect you can bounce it back with zephyros then make a play so yeah it's a good card and two emptiness you can play both spark dragon and key beetle in this so Vandy's just is almost always gonna just be protected and you'll win. Uh, other cards. Two Breakthrough, just Effect Negation, Stop Window, generic stuff like that. Two Wiretaps, Negate Traps, and yeah. Uh, one Compulse, I feel like this is the only good one of Trap right now. Warning's alright. I do like warning, but compulse is definitely just better right now. Uh, one delta crow. <laughs> this card's so funny when it resolves. I've had times where my opponent has set five back row. Delta crow, they scoop. Um, yeah. And now the fortieth card, black sonic. Yes, I had I had one spot left in my deck, and I'm like, okay, I can play a one of I can play a good card like warning or lance. Or I can play Black Sonic and Troll. Yeah, I'm playing Black Sonic today. Um, I was facing Doug Kang, my friend. Go check out our channel, Team Tsunami, if you're watching it on my channel. Um, yeah, he ran into this with a White Dragon Wyvern Booster, a Raiden, and a um, Winda. And I flipped this up. And he's just like, what the hell is this card? And he read it and basically threw a fit. Yeah, this card's really funny when it resolves. It shouldn't resolve. Your opponent should not be bad enough that it resolves, but it's locals, so it always resolves. <laughs> yeah. Sorry of my life. Ugh. And yeah, that was the main deck. It's 40 cards, 15 traps, 8 spells, 17 monsters. On to the extra deck. Um, we play one Diamond Direwolf. Uh, this card is not good right now. However, it has synergy with Blackwings because also I don't like leaving something like a Blizzard up if I used in if I used the four to make an overlay because it's just a weak point on my field. So I can summon Diamond Dire, get the Blizzard off the way, and get a card that's out the way. So this is a really good card in that sense. Um, other good cards, we have, oh, um, Dweller also, the, I believe first turn against Shadals, I just put these two out, plus another Wing Beast, use Dweller, and pop the card, and he just couldn't deal with these guys for like three turns, and that gave me three turns to generate advantage and win, which is really good. Uh, one Castle. You don't make enough rank 4s to play two of this guy, but he's really good, so i definitely play one. Uh, 101, 
Kind of like castle, but turns them into armor, but less versatile, so you play one of... I'd play two castle with one 101, but you don't need two castle. I'd play one of each before two castle. Um, actually, I might play two castle. I don't know. Why did I do that? Uh, one emerald. Recycle stuff. Draw graveyard manipulation. Win. Exiton. Board clearing. Cowboy. Pew pew. Key beetle. Uh, this is the Xyz you make when you have emptiness, and then you win. Crazy Box. This is the Xyz you make when you have skill drain, and then you win. These two kind of go... <laughs> I have um, an Xyz and a Synchro Monster for both Floodgates that I just make with them, and the opponent can't do anything. Uh, that's all for Xyz. Um, now onto the Synchros. Scrap Dragon, uh, Diamond Dyro for Synchros, um, Stardust, the Synchro you make when you have Skill Drain, Stardust Spark, the Synchro you make when you have Emptiness. Uh, these are really the only three eights that are worth playing. Colossal, maybe, but I don't have room for him. I could probably cut something, but I don't feel like it. And yeah. Um, other cards... Armor Master. I don't know how I feel about him. I might cut him. I don't know. He's weird. I might play Black Rose instead. I honestly do not know at this point. He's helpful in a lot of cases, though. Um, Sahemoth. This would be a Goyo if I had a Goyo, but it's not, so it's not. Yeah. Um, it sucks. And Catastrophe. This would be an Armides, but I don't have Armides, so it sucks. And that's the extra deck. Onto the side deck. Two flying C. Just stop Xyz based decks. No, um, Noble Knights, I guess. But really anything that Xyz is a lot. Uh, spells, two MST, deal with Floodgates. What's funny is it's really hard to Floodgate against Black Wings. I'm not even sure how you would. But MST can deal with just back row in general. Um, two Nobleman. Just deal with dolls and stuff. And one Raigeki for random rogue decks that will be good against. Uh, I did not bring this in all day. I played two Shadals, Light Sworn, and Gravekeepers. The Gravekeepers was some young kid and I didn't even bother siding against him. Otherwise, I'd probably go with Bronn Regeki. Uh, trap cards now. Two Shalmir. You might say, oh, but Black Wings are all dark. You can't play Shalmir, I'll negate you. What the hell is going to activate for me? Shara? Fine, I don't need Shura's effect. Zephyros, I don't need his effect if I'm completely locking you down. I don't need Blizzard's effect if I'm completely locking you down. You don't seem to understand that if I'm sitting on an 1800 beat stick with a collude in hand, you're going to lose if you cannot play Yu-Gi-Oh. That's how this is going to work. Two Light Mirror. Negate. Just negate Light Decks. Uh, two Trap Stone. Burn Abyss. Make them go Neg 1 all day. And then, one of each viruses. Um, Black Wings are all dark, so those are playable. They're good against a bunch of rogue decks each. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. Black Wings are not top tier by any means. But, it's a really fun deck. So I hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you're watching this on my team's channel, go check out my personal channel at Fallen Psycho A2. If you're watching this on my personal channel, go check out my team's channel, Team Tsunami. Yeah, Team Tsunami. Uh, anyways, guys, peace out. Fallen Psycho A2, sign out.